Hey there guys, how you going? We've just come back from Bunnings. We've gone and grabbed a new head torch. Um, as mine's from Kmart, it's not that great, but um, it'll do for uh, some general stuff. But anyways, we're going camping, so I thought I'd pick up a new head torch. This is a little Arlec rechargeable one, um, so let's have a look at it. This is the Arlec 100 lumen head torch. It's got three modes, high, low, and flashing. It lasts for eight hours, 40 meter beam, with a sensor, it comes with a charging cable. Well, let's cut it open and have a look, guys. This is the Arlec head torch out of um, the packaging. So it comes with your little uh, rechargeable USB cable. Um, unfortunately, it didn't come charged. Um, so I'll give it a bit of a charge and then we can try it all out. We've got both the Kmart and the Arlec headlight here. Um, I found that um, after charging the Arlec, um, I've actually found it has a few other functions um, that I didn't read on the box. So it's actually got two buttons here. So it's got one on the left, one on the right. Um, on the left, um, that just turns on the actual flashlight, high, low, and flashing, which is pretty handy. Um, and then on the right hand side, it's got the actual sensor. So if you pass your hand over it, turns it on, turns it off. Now with the Kmart one, it's just got the single button here. It's got light here, it goes high, low, red and red flashing well we'll turn off the lights and we'll check what the two headlights are like what we're looking for is for range and we're looking for the lumens or how much light they produce okay so we'll do a little comparison of the uh, kmart and the arlec head torch so i've got the kmart torch here now so as you can see it's got a pretty good range you can see the palm trees um it's Fairly wide um, spread of light, so that's not too bad. So, probably looking around about 80 lumens. Now, we'll look at the Arlec. So, there you go, it's, it's slightly better. Pro um, this one's 100 lumens. Uh, you see the palm trees a little bit easier with this one. We got this one in low now. This is the Arlec. Um, it's got a pretty good range, even with it being on low. And now we've got the Kmart one on low, and you can't really see too much at all. I prefer the uh, Arlec one over the Kmart one anyways. Um, it being rechargeable makes it a little bit easier. Um, when you go away camping, I've got battery banks and my lamps and um, lights and all that. I've got Roby gear as well, so can charge it straight off the 18 volt batteries. And um, that's pretty convenient for me. I'd rather a rechargeable one rather than um, the AA or AAA batteries, ones that the uh, Kmart one that runs off. Um, for the price, $22, $23, um, that's not too bad um, for the Arlec one, whereas the Kmart one's $8.50, so it's pretty good for if you're on a budget, um, pick up the Kmart one, it's not going to do you too bad, but um, that Arlec one's just a slight bit better. Um, if you're running in low, uh, you will find that the Arlec one's a little bit better, um, whereas the Kmart one, you can't really see too much, but you know, you get what you pay for. If you're running at high, it's comparable, um, but the Arlec is definitely better. I think the uh, Kmart runs roughly around about 80 uh, lumens. It doesn't say on the packaging, of course, it's Kmart. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Um, I'd keep it in my toolbox and my ute in case I'm working in dark areas, but um, if I'm going camping, I'd definitely take that Arlec watching guys very much appreciate it if you can like comment and subscribe that would be awesome and i'll see you guys again soon